All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, today, I want to talk about, in my opinion, the top five ways to make money in Pokey MMO. Now, this is just my opinion. Um, I'm just going to be doing some background farming on one of them. Actually, you know what? Might as well just start with it. What I'm going to be doing is item farming here. Uh, this is not the fastest or best way or anything like that. Uh, this is not like the best method or anything like that by any means, but in my opinion, it is fun. So what you basically need for this method is a bayonet. You don't necessarily need a bayonet, but I think you just need anything with frisk ability and the thief move. You also probably are going to want to PP max or PP up this uh, move. Um, and essentially what you're going to do is go into random hordes of grass where there are certain uh, Pokemon that hold certain items. Now, you can look this up if you want something specific, like, for instance, where I'm at right now is on Kindle Road here in uh, uh, the Sevi Islands here in the Kanto region, and basically what I'm farming for is Meowth here. Um, why I want Meowth is because they hold this item called Amulet Coin, and how I'm going to know that Meowth is holding an Amulet Coin is because of the Bayonet's Frisk ability. Um, basically, this person can check a foe's hold held item. It can't tell you what it is, but it can tell you that whether or not it's holding an item or not. Now, the other thing about your Bayonet that you're going to need, I would really recommend having 31 attack and 31 speed just so it can outspeed everything and do as much damage with Thief as possible. Um, and so basically, if you know the proc goes off for having... Um, a Lepaberry, or not Lepaberry, but <laughs> if a proc goes off for an uh, for a Pokemon having a hold item, a held item, your Bayonet will let you know, and um, right here, see Bayonet frisked Meowth and found an item, and if you're kind of like not paying attention, um, what you can do is just have the battle tab open, and it'll tell you, you know, like see all these, there was nothing, nothing held, um, and then here it tells you your most recent encounter. What I also like to do is kind of have the Bayonet open here, so you know, it'll basically pop up here uh, in the bottom right hand side of my screen here uh, if it takes an item. Now, uh, Meowth in this case can hold either Amulet Coin or Quick Claw, and I'm going to be doing a, a test video basically. And you can see right there, if you pay attention, it says like Meowth used Quick Claw to go first. Um, basically, Quick Claw, if you are not aware, basically does not sell for anything. A thousand Poke in on the GTL and probably like really cheap as well. However, uh, in stores. However, an Amulet coin, which is very useful, is gonna sell for around 15, 16K, something like that. So definitely would not run away from uh, Meowth hordes that, that don't have it because you're just, you know, there's no point in thiefing down every Meowth just to take a 1K item. Um, that's my opinion. So basically, if you're gonna be doing this, What's really cool is that you can also run into a shiny Ponyta as well as a shiny Meowth, you know, if you're going for it. Um, but yeah, basically item farming. There's tons of items out there that everyone wants. There's toxic orbs, life orbs. Um, I, I don't know if you can get choice bands in the wild. There's leftovers in the wild from Snorlax. Um, there's, uh, there was something recently. Um, I kind of forget. I, I, I honestly forget. But, you know, honestly, do some research. There's a lot of different items out there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be making a, a money making guide for this specific method for the amulet coin uh, in, a, in a future video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, I just wanted to cover the first thing up just because what I'm doing in the background here it is item farming. The next thing up is something you probably could have guessed by now, but it is actually gym reruns. OK, gym reruns is the best money making method in the game because you can do it every single day. And it's essentially free in the sense of like once you have the team set up now, I'm not going to go through the team because I feel like I say this in like every video, but basically it's two Typhlosions, a Torkoal, a Whimsicott, or a Cottony, and then a either like a Crocodile. Some people run two Blastoises. Some people run um, Aerodactyl. You know, like there's various other things, but for the most part, you need like two Fire types, and then something that sets Tailwind to to give your team speed, and then something else that kind of boosts, like that kind of gives Drought. So it, it takes away, like for instance, Pelipers from Gym Leaders uh, will always provide, um, you know, rain and stuff like that. So you basically want to avoid that as much as possible. So. Um, that's the gym rerun team. I made a guide. I made several guides on the, the team you want, on the route you want to take, the route I take, I guess. Uh, so go look at those videos if you need help. But basically, you know, if you're popping an amulet coin or a richest charm or something like that, you can easily make 240 to 270k uh, per day in an hour. And that's like easily the best way to make money because you know, say I'm doing this amulet coin farming, you know, as, as you're kind of watching in the background, if you are. You notice I'm not getting that many, you know, I might get 
I would, if I was to guess maybe like, you know, seven to 12 in the hour, you know, so that's what, like 16 K times, like, I don't know, let's just say 10, for instance, that's 160,000. And that's like probably being generous. Right. Um, and that's, that's, a, that's going to take some time too. Right. So the good thing is I'm getting like shiny chances. I'm getting shiny encounters or possibilities of encounters. Uh, so that's a good thing that you can't put a price on when it comes to gym reruns. But you know, if you care about that, but if you're just making like hard pokey yen, uh, that's that's that. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is paydaying. So another reason why Meowth is is pretty cool uh, is because it has the move payday. Uh, so if we go ahead and search for like a 31 attack, 31 speed Meowth, you can see. Um, let me run away and just set the next horde up. Um, you know, you definitely want to take a look at the nature because, uh, for instance, like a negative speed or negative attack Meowths, you don't want to buy. But basically, if you want to just pick up like a 31 speed, 31 attack Meowth, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea. Just kind of train it up. Or what some people do is uh, just simply buy, uh, like search for a minimum level 100. And you can see these are going for quite a lot right now. So uh, I don't know why this is trained in special attack. Kind of interesting there. Um, but what you can do is basically buy one off the GTL that has, you know, pretty much your, your moves that you want. It's got payday. It's got thief, uh, pickup ability is definitely very handy. And some people just go to like the dragon spiral tower, for instance, Oop, nope, don't want to buy that. And, uh, and, and you can do that. You know, I, I'm honestly, what I'm doing right now is kind of taking some meowths with me, like level one meowths on my gym reruns, and then just kind of EXP training them as we go. Um, and then eventually they're going to be level hundred. And I can sell them. You know, I bought them for what 60k, maybe a couple days of training, couple like couple hours of training, and I can sell them for like 300k. You know, something like that. It's, it's a really good deal in my opinion. Um, and there's there's a lot of profit to be made because everyone wants a payday Pokemon. So that's uh, number three, I think. Uh, going along with that, at number four is catching Pokemon. So it's kind of. Uh, self-explanatory but basically you know I've made countless catching videos as well Petrowski's loot from one hour series is another good example but you know anything like a Pikachu um, ditto obviously uh, there's there's like the flying type egg group you know like if you buy if you not buy if you are hunting certain egg groups go for the male breeders and they can sell for you know any decent amount of money um, and it's honestly a really good deal so it's it's usually pretty cheap there is some upfront capital in terms of needing a catching pokemon like a breloom or a smear goal and then there's obviously listing fees and pokeballs involved in that it's not as raw you know money making as like paydaying for instance but it is more exciting because there's the chance of getting like a three times 31 there's a chance of getting a shiny of a rare pokemon you know that's obviously obviously really cool and yeah that's that's number four i guess uh, number five is gtl flipping i also made a video on this as well uh, a couple of uh, a couple of weeks back a couple of months back maybe it was about shiny flipping um and i th i honestly think shiny flipping is really cool because you can buy something for let's say three mil sell it for 3.5 mil and you probably won't get the money right away but you know as soon as that sells if it does sell you know if you're shiny flipping correctly you just made 500k without lifting a finger and you know sometimes it, it might not sell you are have to lower it down you, you might lose a little bit in listing fees but you know if you're, if you're doing things right and as long as the market doesn't like screw you over uh basically everything's going to eventually sell um i have a lot of things like you can see right now i've got like a 3.4 mil in the bank right now um a lot of my money is in shiny investments i'm not going to show you or anything like that i don't want to like mess up the market or anything like that but uh, you know, there's there's a lot of Pokemon there that I, I bought. There's, I probably have at least two to three shinies that are like ready to be flipped. And you know, if I if I make that money back, uh, that's a lot of money that's gonna be that's gonna be coming in. So uh, I'm just kind of making money these days. That's kind of my my main strategy. Obviously, trying to shiny hunt as well. I'm going for shiny Beldum for those of you who don't know, and that's obviously very expensive. That's one of the main reasons why I would recommend people, uh, you know, try to try to save money, try to make money uh, to to eventually go for like your own bread shiny because those are not easy to find, not easy to hatch. Um, I've done countless, countless stacks of be uh, Beldum eggs, um, you know, shiny charms, donator status. I don't even do any of those now because. It, like I don't have anything, you know, so it's like I'm just gonna do my own thing I'm not gonna waste, you know, my my money your time trying to get like a donator or anything like that I would recommend at least doing a donator if not doing a shiny charm But at the same time for me personally, like I'm I'm kind of okay on that. Anyway, this isn't about breeding Okay, maybe I'll make a separate video on egg breeding in the future um, The last little quick tip I want to give you guys for money making I guess it's number six in a way 
it's actually going to be berry farming. Now, this is something I cannot help you with because I don't have like any experience in berry farming. I think you have to be very patient. You have to be very attentive to the game. Uh, and I kind of go through phases with this game. As you can tell from the channel from months ago, uh, sometimes I don't play this game for like three months. Sometimes I play this game like three hours a day, you know? So I go through re really weird phases. Um, at the end of the day, I probably will always come back to this game. But... Uh, it, you know, if you're not like that, if you're, if you're kind of like a random kind of on and off kind of player, then uh, I don't know if berry farming is necessarily for you. And also, I don't know exactly how much money you can make from it, but I do know you can make a good amount. So that's what I wanted to go through with you guys. Those are my top five, five and a half money making tips for y'all in this video. If you learned anything, if you want to go, go through anything in depth, which I kind of did already, I'll probably make separate videos if they're not already up on each of these specific topics, like, you know, eventually I'm going to have like an item farming series where I test out, you know, an hour of, of everything, you know, this amulet coin stuff, the life orbs from Absols, the leftovers from Snorlax, you know, like all the main ones, I'm going to be doing like a, a test video, kind of an experiment video, kind of give you guys um, how profitable it can be or not be. And then as far as catching Pokemon goes, I've got a lot of Pokemon ideas for that. You know, I know Petrasky did a lot of them, but I also have um, my own ideas. Finally getting a Frisk on something. And hey, here we go. Look, see, as soon as I hit Frisk, I, I see that I got the Amulet coin. I don't have to worry about the rest of the horde. I don't care. And right there, that's 16K just for, just for you know, doing that. Um, obviously, your Binet is going to die eventually. Um... I know a lot of people, you know, going back to this whole thing, I know a lot of people go back uh, and hit like teleport and, and fly back or, or teleport back and surf back over to this Kindle Road from the Poke Center, but I often don't really do that. Make sure to take the amulet coin off. Oh, Flame Orb. Flame Orb off of um, Heat More. That was the other thing. That was the other thing I was trying to do, um, the other item. And I already did a video on that. If you missed it, go check it out. But yeah, man, uh, that's basically it for this video see now that my bayonet's kind of weak i can tell here in the in the yellow here i'm going to teleport back i really only teleport back to heal when i think that my pokemon is like not going to survive the next horde uh, because eventually you know bayonet doesn't have the best defense or anything like that so it, it will die and there is four pokemon attacking it for like multiple turns so obviously that's going to happen but yes, sir, that is basically it. If you learned anything useful, if you found any of this interesting, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, if you enjoy this kind of video, if you enjoy these kind of guide videos, you know, let me know. If you want to see specific guides, which of course I'm going to be doing, let me know that in the comment section as well. Uh, I also uh, just really appreciate you guys' uh, support. You know, I think I said it in a video a long time ago, but if we are able to hit, um, what's it called, a thousand subscribers, I will be doing a like a walkthrough video, a walkthrough series on probably the Kanto region because that's just what I'm most familiar with. And I think it'll be really fun. You know, I get to kind of go through uh, the, the game again with you guys. A lot of new people might be able to tune in and watch. Hopefully there'll be some kind of fun inside jokes and stuff like that. So hopefully, you know, if you think uh, it's chill enough, you think you're going to learn something, if you think it's just going to be fun, you know, leave a like, subscribe, you know, subscribe, help out. Um, I, I want to start that series around a thousand subscribers and low key, maybe even start streaming you know i do have some time these days i don't know for how long but uh at least maybe i'll stream my my gym reruns or something like that that might be something that people are are a little interested in i don't know um kind of stalling slightly because i am very close to 5k encounters which is incorrect because i actually have about i want to say 11 or 12k encounters so far before my global encounter encounter crashed unfortunately that's very annoying but when it does crash i kind of like take a mental picture of like when or how many i was at and so uh it crashed once at 3000 and once at like 8500 something like that so i'm probably around i don't know 11 1200,000 right now and then you know in in two more hordes this is going to be 5k so in total i'm going to be around 16,500 uh encounters and that is a lot a lot of encounters so uh, if you don't know the shiny rate, maybe I'll make a shiny, shiny videos and shiny guides, stuff like that, uh, in the future. But if you don't know the shiny rate is one out of 30,000. So yeah, man, that's it. Hopefully I stalled long enough. That was my last horde. There's one more horde in the sweet scent. And then after that, that'll be it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if I missed anything, you know, let me know in the comment section. I'm not perfect. I'm nowhere near like an expert in this game. I just enjoy this game. and want to help out video, uh, help out with you guys with videos. And if you enjoy them, um, 
let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Peace out.